It started with an $800 scratch to a Douglas County squad car. From there, it snowballed until it cost Deputy Travis Morley his career. Morley joined the Douglas County Sheriff's Office in July 2017. Sometime around August 10, 2019, his newly issued squad car struck a delineator, one of those upright reflective strips that mark the edge of the highway shoulder. At a vehicle training with fellow police officers August 14th, Morley described how the delineator snapped back and dented his hood when he drove over it at high speed. But when he reported the accident to his superiors, he wasn't able to clearly tell them where and how it happened. To find out, sheriff supervisors looked at recorded videos from Morley's onboard vehicle cameras. They found that several days' worth of videos were missing from the device memory, including the day of the accident. Morley said he deleted them. Our investigator found that he, he believed that there was some uh, honesty issues going on. Sheriff Kevin Morris ordered an internal investigation. Deputies' vehicle recorders are always gathering video, but they're supposed to only record sound when a deputy's car is running with lights and sirens activated. There's alarmed and unalarmed. The unalarmed have no audio. Those are the ones where you're just driving around. Um, those are purged through the system. The first in is the first out, so once the DVR is full, it just, it just falls off. It gets deleted. When Douglas County technicians examined Morley's system, they found his settings were different. The device was set to the manufacturer's default, and sound was recorded constantly on his car's backseat camera. If possible, I'd like to just get a Samsung through um, Walmart. Same price as that one was. We have no idea why that occurred. We've told our, our folks, if you find that it's happening, you let us know, and we will delete the audio uh, immediately. Because it, it, you know, Washington State's two-party consent, and... Uh, and I expect to give our deputies that type of privacy. They know that it's recording when they are um, you know, on a call. Morley said he'd been deleting unalarmed videos because he didn't want his private conversations and phone calls on record. Technicians managed to recover more than 500 files Morley had deleted, but none showed video from the accident. And one of the videos Morley deleted was taken while he was running lights and sirens to answer a call. Sergeant Jason DeMeyer managed the investigation. He said Morley gave false statements during their interviews and multiple conflicting answers to questions. And you're telling me that, that you're okay if you believe something one time that is not fact and put it down on paper for everybody to believe until you're called on it and then you actually go check to see if that's true or not. At the point in time that I put it on paper, I believed it to be true. Morley also spoke to potential witnesses about the investigation despite official warnings not to. DeMeyer soon learned that Morley carried on extensive text and voice communications on personal business using his department's cell phone. He made multiple calls and texts to a woman who was a witness in a major theft. DeMeyer said the contact was inappropriate and violated department policy on dealing with witnesses while a case is still open. County phone records showed Morley used his department phone at nearly three times the rate of any Douglas County deputy. DeMeyer found Morley had committed 13 violations of sheriff's department policies and directives including tampering with car cam video, mishandling vehicles and equipment, and lack of truthfulness. On November 14th, Morley resigned prior to a hearing with Sheriff Morris. Given the facts of the case, Morris said he likely would have fired the deputy. There's a saying in our profession, and certainly in this office, you only say it because it rhymes, if you lie, you die. And what that means is if you're dishonest, you cannot be a law enforcement officer for us. Requests to Morley for comment through Facebook messages and relayed through the union that represents Douglas County Sheriff's deputies were not answered. Jefferson Robbins, NCW Life.